Happy Monday, everyone. And as I said earlier, Carroll College head coach Mike Van Deest retired today. MTN Sports' Richie Melby was on campus today for Van Deest's farewell. There was laughter. <laughs> there were tears. Thanks, Jim. Plenty of memories. And more tears. I have never missed it. Monday morning was officially the end of an era. 20 years, 203 wins, 14 conference titles, six national championships, and one emotional goodbye as Mike Van Deest announced his retirement at Carroll College. As a part of who I am, that emotional part of me comes out in, in situations like this. And uh, my, my caring and passion for the game of football, for my players, for my family, uh, so many people to thank. I didn't get to thank, thank all of them today. What I remember most is just, as you said, the relationships. And, the emotions are tough. The accolades and honors are obvious. The championships, coach of the years, players of the year, the MVPs. But the majority of reactions surrounding Van Deest's retirement seem to focus on relationships, mentoring, and building not only one program, but an entire conference to national prominence. We're very blessed to be recruiting good people coming from good families and good homes. So when you walk into their home, they see a, a coach like Jim Hogan or Nick Howard or myself. I think parents trusted their sons with us. I have two sons and one played here at football and the other one's in college and hockey. I understand how important it is to turn your most prized possession over to somebody. And we weren't there to take the place of families, but we were there in support of their families. Though he admitted he believed he could continue coaching, Van Deest mentioned the timing. His son Clay is a senior on the St. Norbert's College hockey team. His other son Shane, a new father in St. Louis. Van Deest, the coach, looks forward to dedicating all of his time to become Van Deest, the father and grandfather. Sure, he'll miss the football, scheming and planning, the passion of game day, but that was never the best draw anyway. The football part of it was great. The relationships were better. The scoreboard only tells half the story. It's time for Mike Van Deest to write the rest of his. Richie Melby, MTN Sports. At the end of an era comes a lot of stories from those who have been affected by it. Richie Melby also caught up with former Carroll football players to get their reactions on Van Deest's departure. There were plenty of familiar faces in the room during Mike Van Deest's retirement press conference Monday morning, but it was also a who's who of former Fighting Saints players. Some were national players of the year, others role players, maybe even backups. But all can agree, Van Deest had an incredible impact on their lives. For a lot of guys, when we say how grateful we are to, to coach for everything that he's done, because you know, I really believe that he um, elevated things here at Carroll College and, and also in the Frontier Conference and in the NAIA. You know, uh, that, that run of success is pretty unprecedented. I'm uh, pretty thankful to be, have been a part of that. So I came here because I, I got to know the school and the football program, and I stayed because of the people. The relationships uh, that Coach cultivated with his players and that the environment he built that allowed us to have. You know, you said you talked to Andy Fiezeth and Tyler Emmert. Well, Tyler uh, was a teammate of mine, and I was in Andy's wedding. Andy's one of my best friends in the whole world. Uh, and it's because Coach brought people like him here. The impact that he's had upon lives is a lot more impressive than... Uh, what you see on the scoreboard, uh, which is still pretty dang good. Players have also recognized the football genius of Mike Van Deest, but putting it into words, not so simple. Well, every spring, I mean, your offense plays your defense every spring, and it just seemed like there were some years where we had really good offense. We never seemed to have a ton of success in the spring, so so we had maybe maybe every now and again we'd get get the defense, but they definitely won more than we did in practices. So yeah, I mean, all, all year long, I was kind of like. We can't, how come we can't get one up here back when I was playing and, and then when I was coaching, too? And though the coaching career is done, don't forget Mike Van Deest has one more honor for the Carroll College Fighting Saints being inducted into the NAIA Hall of Fame this coming January. Richie Melby, MTN Sports. And if you want more from these stories, be sure to head to montanasports.com. For MTN Sports, I'm Sam Hoyle.